So this is uh, one of these restorations again. I got this little plane in Portobello Road, pretty cheap, you know. But it's got bent wings here and down here is bent and there's no propellers. It's a little different than the um, standard tin, the way it's crimped around the back of the wings. So we'll take it apart, clean, you know, straighten it up, put some props on it and put it back together. So let's get to it. So, it has damage here in the wing. This is all bent, this back wing. But it's crimped over here. And the props are put on like with this T-joint, I think, which is all one piece. So what we're going to do is open her up by crimping it open with the screwdriver or something and see, see what we got here. It isn't exactly going easy, but we'll get there. I have better tools here in my new my new um, tools I got. Uh, it's not sharp enough though. Going to Bell Road I got some of these um, dental tea things which are quite handy. Wow, is that really hard to get under? And there's a crimp here as well. See this here? There we go. So that's open. So that will come out. That's open. So I'll just keep bending away at this until I get her open. And we'll see what you got here. It slides up because there's an edge here. But it's going to take me a while to crimp this open. And I'm sure you don't want to sit there for an hour watching me. Yeah, so it's coming apart now. I have this up, look, uncrimped. Not too sure how this is going to work. And I have this fairly uncrimped. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Still doesn't want to come apart. And if you ask me why, I'm not too sure why yet. You have to kind of go in there and force it. It's moving a little. There she goes. Ah. Ooh, it popped all apart. How about that? I didn't expect that, did you? There we go. Huh? Oh, all in one big blast. So we got the main unit and the wings and the bottom. Okay. Let's just put that down a bit so you can see it there. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll clean this up a little bit and put this back on. First we'll take that off. Now, sometimes they twist these and they twist them so much that when you put them straight they crack off. There, that's pretty good. So that shell to clean up, this has to be straightened. These um, flat pliers, these flat pliers are great for it. You know, reshaping it. Sometimes working on a piece of wood is very handy. See, there's quite a bit of damage here. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look later on, unless I put it on again. Yeah, it's not looking great at the moment. So we've just got to get this out a bit. Dent somehow. Oh, is that tough to get out or what? Got to come in and out easier than that for me. There's a little slot in there, that's why maybe. There. And I don't really like the way the wings shaped sort of still. So I'll try and I'll use my new little watch mallet. Try and try 
Gonna get that crease out of it there. Right, I'll work at this a little more. Mm, that's a little better. There was a little shape to this here in the beginning, like that. Very slight angle. And if we bring it back, the wing will automatically take the right shape again. It's already improving. There we go. And you know it's improving already. These tabs are... Uh, there goes the tab, I knew it. Is already brittle there. Yeah, we're getting close. I just got to get this kind of really straight, so I really like it. And I'll be okay. It's a pretty simple toy. Doesn't need too much work. You don't want to go too far with these. They were the cheaper tin toys at the time. Yeah, I've got my little uh, watch hammer with the knife inside, and I'm just tapping out the dents. The, the dents that are in this wing. And then I take the mallet with the nylon and I press real hard. And it's like straightening out silver paper, you know, and that tin foil of the oven. And we get a quite, a, quite a good shape here, see. Yeah, there. That's looking much better. To work out the um, propellers yet. But otherwise, you know, we're already getting a little closer every moment, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do this undercarriage piece as well. Just try and straighten her up a bit. Everything seems to be a little, as you can see, bent and wonky. To be patient. There's definitely a big bend in here, right? What we gotta get rid of. It's already looking quite a lot better. I think these T's have to be squeezed up and you take off this and then you can put on a propeller. So. There. It's quite a bit better. It still needs polishing and all that. And this needs hammering together, which could be very interesting. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to clean up this chrome a little, see if it's got anything. Yeah, I'm using the light car compound again. And be careful not to lose the decals and all, that, and all the graphics on this. See, that's beginning to shine a bit. You can see the dirt coming off there. Let's do this part of it. We've got the compound here. If you were wondering what I'm doing off the side there, I'm putting this compound on this white compound. Car cleaner, really. Car polisher. I haven't put that on yet. Maybe cleaning them separate would be a good idea. Can you see that still? This has got such a light abrasion, abrasion that it doesn't take the graphics off. Made in England, there you go. It says it right here.
I'm not gonna clean the inside, over clean it, because it's a simple tin toy. I do like it though. There, I just do the tail, and the bottom needs a little polishing, and we'll see what we got. Yeah, so I'm just putting the wing back together a little. I'll just get it in there first so that it holds. We need to hold already. There's quite a gap in the front there, I don't know why, bit here. But I don't think it matters. So, there you have it. It didn't strain out perfectly, and when I put it together it did a little bit of movement. It's a cheap toy. But it's all back together, right? And it's looking a bit cleaner, a little bit better with the back fins not all bent. And all I gotta do is get two propellers and put them on. And I'm all set to leave this the way it is. It's kind of like a penny toy thing, and that's where I'll leave that. So there you go. So I had these dinky props. These are a little large for dinkies. I've done some different sizes. So I've decided to just put those on there. And I just pull a crimp wide on the end because that's the way they were. Needs a little touch up of red here. And there we have it. Yeah, a little bit of red. Huh? Touch ups. Yeah, I did give it a little silver here and then wipe it so that it looks a little bit sharper. As you can see, it does. I'm also leave the wheels dirty and this dirty because it gives that patina look. So, I mean, that is really done now. Thanks for watching.